Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and today we're doing this little project using more milk paint on this little pine wooden cupboard. It was very raw pine and it didn't have any varnish or lacquer on it so I thought it would be a really safe project to have a go with the milk paint on. I've put a layer of blue underneath, this blue that you can see on the table, up <laughs> and then white over the top. It, even though you can see bits of it through it, it's not enough for my liking so I'm going to do some ragging on it and show you how doing that. So I've watered down a lot of water, this blue. So this is about speed more than anything because it's very watery. I've got a damp cloth, it's wet. I have wrung it out but it is damp. So I'm going to just brush on as quick as I can an area. So I'm not going to attempt to paint the whole thing. And then I'm going to just use the rag like that just dab it. So I don't want to keep going over the same spot as it's going to ruin the pattern but as you can see that's a really effective pattern. So I'll let you watch the, the rest of this. cabinet I've decided it's going to look lovely in my bathroom. Um, I have torn around the edge of the napkin and as you can see the napkin's got three layers so I'm going to peel away the back two layers. Okay so that's rubbish. I've now decanted into my little pot some finishing coat. This is French Chic finishing coat and I've got a little brush and I'm gonna just fairly liberally put the finishing coat where I'm going to put my duck. I don't want it to be running but not too dry either. So now I can gently place the duck in situ and use my brush to smooth it out like this. And as you can see because the background's got a lot of white in it and so has the background of the napkin. The napkin is just blending in to the cupboard and almost looks as if I've hand painted it. So I'm going to carry on and put the other, what, other bits of duck that I've got on the sides and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, thank you, see you in a bit. Hiya, okay, we finished all of the decoupage and I've used different bits of napkins for the side, for the front, there's another one here. I thought it would be a nice touch to create a, a duck head knob. So we've used an old wooden knob that I've got, I've got loads stored by from old bits of furniture, painted it and then just decoupaged the head onto it, I think it looks quite cool. The last thing I'm going to do is some image transfer, I quite liked the quote splish splash splosh and I think it would look quite nice there. So I've scribbled on the back with a normal pencil. I'm going to stick it into place so I need to... So I've just got normal masking tape. Oh yeah, and I have actually put a whole coat of finishing coat all over it, which does actually help this transfer image, makes it come through a lot clearer. It's not essential, but it is what I've done. So I'm now using a normal biro to go around the edge of all of the words. And because it's got the lead pencil behind it, it will push it through just a bit like what you did at school really, but it's very effective. Now in an ideal world, at this point, I would use a blue Sharpie pen, because that would make it really easy to fill in once I take it out, but I haven't got one. So I have mixed up some more of this blue colour, and I've just made it very thick, so I can paint with it and it won't run. So I, once I've finished this transfer, I will fill it in. 
with this thick paint. super super clear but certainly clear enough for me to be able to paint it. Right so I'm going to come back when I've filled it all in with paint and I'm going to use this practically three strand brush so it's going to take me a little while so I won't video all of that because that'll be boring but I'll bring it back when I've finished it all right. <laughs> right so we finished it as you can see it's come out really lovely really pleased with it it's subtle I think it was the right decision to do it in the same blue and um, it goes really well really pleased with the finished product all it needed was a little coat of finishing coat over the top of that bit to protect the paint and we're done job done lovely bathroom cabinet so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my channel and follow my page which is www.facebook.com forward slash the emporium furniture which will take you straight to fairy chic emporium thank you till the next time